So, Father, we just pray for the situation today in the Ukraine and the situation in the surrounding countries in Poland, Moldova, Belarus, Russia. Father, there are just so many people being displaced at the moment from their homes. Their homes are being destroyed by uh, gunfire and missiles indiscriminately, it would seem. And Father, we know that families are being split up and that women and children are fleeing across the borders whilst they leave their men folk to to fight what Putin has called a phony war and through through one of his statesmen he's saying that you know they're, they're fighting themselves they're bombing themselves well I've never seen a civil war quite like this then Lord so pardon me if I've got it wrong so Father we just pray for those people today those people who are isolated in small pockets of resistance fighting against the insurgent Russian troops and we just pray that uh, they will continue to have strong leadership strong leadership from their Prime Minister from the uh, the supporting countries who are supporting through NATO and so forth that they will have the armaments available to them to continue this resistance. Father, where do we see love your neighbour in this? Love your neighbour as yourself, you said. And love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, spirit, soul, strength. It just makes us despair, Lord. We pray for the aid agencies, those on the borders and within the countries that people are fleeing to, who are supporting these refugees. Father, we thank you for the compassion that they're showing and for the going the extra mile for, for these people. Sometimes such as in Moldova, we know this is one of the poorest countries in Europe. Nevertheless, arms are being shown to these people as they're crossing the borders. Clothing, food, shelter. We pray for the churches that are involved in these efforts. People who never know how much they've made a difference. They're just bound up with what they're doing, with the spiritual attack that's going on, and with the physical attack that's going on from the Russians. We pray for the Russian people who are standing up against Putin and protesting about the war, about brother killing brother. Father, it must be so heart-wrenching for you to see how your people are destroying themselves and the world that they live in. Finally, Father, I pray for the, the situation with the coronavirus, the COVID-19 pandemic. This has become knocked into second place, third place maybe even, by people uh, so familiar with COVID-19 these days that it's, it's becoming a bit like the wallpaper. Father, we know that there are so many countries around the world that don't have the infrastructure, don't have the vaccines, who are losing people day by day. An estimate over 2 million people have died from coronavirus. 
Once again, Father, we just pray for those families that have lost loved ones or conceived lost loved ones who are passing away, unable to do anything about it because there are no vaccines, there are no medicines available. And so we pray for all of the care staff and for the logistical teams for the vaccine supplies. We just need to continue manufacturing these vaccines and make whatever medicines are available, available to the world, to all of the, the countries that currently are unable to to vaccinate themselves. We just need that, Lord. We need the infrastructure in place and we need the will to carry out this vaccination program. Father, it's so easy in this sort of situation to, to say, well, I can't do anything, but I know that you will show each one of us individually what we should be doing in reaching out and touching the situation that's ever present on our doorstep until the world is vaccinated we will continue to have these problems if not this current variant maybe another variant it's it's just the way of life but we just have to keep on praying lord we pray through the power of Jesus' holy name and through the power of the Holy Spirit within us. Amen. Amen. Loving Father, mighty God, Prince of Peace, I want to pray for children in Ukraine. For the traumatization of, of, of their young lives by this appalling conflict. To pray that you'll protect them, that you'll guard their minds and their emotions, that you'll keep them physically safe. It's not what any child should have to grow up with, Lord. Fleeing from their homeland, dodging bombs and bullets and things I can not even imagine. We ought to pray for their mothers too because their mothers are the ones who are having to try and stay strong and keep the children safe as well as getting them out of the danger zone. Very often without the help of their partners. We thank you that, that Ukraine has a strong leader who is not giving in to Russia's lies and villainy, there's no other word for it. It's almost like he's trying to wipe out the whole country. We just, just pray that they will all stay strong and that they'll get the arms they need to resist Russian invasion. We pray for the people in Russia who are standing up against Putin, who are protesting in spite of all the, the risk of being arrested. We thank you for each one of them, Father, because they're doing your work in a land of evil. We just pray that you'll keep them safe as well, Lord. We pray that many more will come to protest to the point where the government will fall, Putin will be de deposed, and this appalling war will stop. Father, it's so hard when a man's mind has become so twisted that he thinks he's got a right to trample over another nation. You know how to control him, Lord. You know how to control the whole situation. You can, oh, I just pray you're working it in the way you want to work in it, Lord, because for us, it seems almost an impossible situation to solve. But we know you are working. You're working through people in Ukraine. You're working through people in Russia. You're working through the governments of, of NATO countries through aid agencies, through the churches, through so many ways, Lord. We just pray that people will listen to you. 
listen to your word and know that you're with them every step of the way. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh, Father, Dad, once again we come running into your arms in prayer, knowing that you are comforted. Yeah. Oh. Love to wipe our tears. Tell us that you love. Oh, what a joy that is, Dad. You have not left us. You come to live within us. We embrace the sun. No kings and the, the way, the life, and the truth. Oh no, Lord, this is, is missing in a great deal in this Russian Ukraine war. Misinformation and disinformation, mostly from one side, but Apparently also from the other. And we know that the author of confusion is the evil one. You can see his fingerprints all over this. Oh, Dad, help us. And Aid to the people of pain. As well as help to those in Russia who are against the war. <coughs> Through all of this death. Stop the bomb, stop the the airplanes, stop the missiles, stop the bullets. We don't just pray for peace, Dad, we pray for miracles, just as some have been reported to you. Thank you for the churches and Christians in other nations who are willing to, to help the, those fleeing Ukraine. Father, we thank you for the, the team in the church in Switzerland a bus to pick up 22 refugees to take care of them. The whole village will take care of these 22 refugees. We thank you for that. That's from a, a source that's reliable. Oh, and may your church rise up to this fellow against the evil one. knows he's defeated and yet he thinks he has the victory. Lord, we know that you have the victory because of the work of your son on the cross. Oh Lord, help us to proclaim that. Raise up your church to spread this good news. Whether that's in Ukraine, in Russia, in Moldova, in Poland, or Hungary, or Albania, or even in Switzerland, here in the UK, where we need a good kick up the backside, Dad, I'll do it. That's the war in Ukraine, Dad, but we also have another battle which is within us. That's regarding COVID. Oh, Lord, give us wisdom and Patient. Wisdom and how to deal with it. We thank you for the vaccines that have been produced so far and the medicines. 
We pray that, and we thank you that we've had them in this country. We get boosters and all that sort of stuff. But Father, there's a whole swathes of people in continents such as Asia and South America and Africa who haven't got access to these vaccines, Dad. Not because of will or anything like that, but because the distribution channels and the uh, manufacturing places haven't been set up or can't be set up. Oh, Dad, give us wisdom on how to do that. Too many people have died already. Dad, we won't want any more to die now. Bearing that in mind, pray for all those in this country who've got COVID again, or for the first time, such as Ron and Marjorie, for Sarah and Sarah and Sarah that I know. Maybe Sarah's got some connotation with COVID. Who knows? Well, I pray for healing upon them that they may, each of them, know the fingertips upon them. Father, as we conclude, may all this that through the majestic name of your Son, and the power of this Holy Spirit, is within us, it fills us as your children, uniting all Christians in one family, 